Track Wrestling. For another history class, I'm Kyle Klingman. We have Brett Sharp. He was an All-American at Augsburg University. And we're going to go through some of his collection because he has quite a variety of unique items of historical nature. We're going to start with this. Behind us, we have Rulon Gardner painting. And I'm going to let you explain how you got this and how this came about. Well, about six years ago, I became friends with Jeff McNutt. Um, I'm a general contractor. I helped him do a build out with his art studio. And out of trade, he, a part of the wrestling icons, did this painting for me. And there's quite a bit of history behind it. Um, just a neat piece. There's several of those paintings in that icon, but he allowed me to keep this one for kind of a trade for doing work for him. So I feel pretty fortunate to have it. And then different moments here. Of course, he won the 2000 Olympics, the upset of the Olympic Games, maybe of all time. Right. Beat Corallin here, 12-time world and Olympic champion. And then some different moments. But you have a piece of history there, too. You wrestled him and beat him when you were in college. So it was kind of cool. We've got a booklet here somewhere, but this is a multi-layered painting. So the first layer was actually Jeff took the picture of when I beat Ruan in the national duels and had a picture of me raising my hand. So that was the first layer. And there was a second and third layer where he kind of played the different matches, like his match wrestling at the Olympics, and just kind of freehanded some of this stuff like this. And then the last layer was obviously real on himself. You can see American flags kind of in the background. You can see the Olympic torch over here. Obviously a repeat of those guys during that infamous lockup where he uh, unlocked his hands and he got the point. So there's quite a bit going on in this painting, and it's, uh, it's pretty neat.